Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this video about me. I am Reginald Canis and this is We in Manage Mode episode 3 as you can see I've converted back to my old country style. Um, obviously last episode was kind of a trial and error thing and uh, it turns out it was more of an error <laughs> than anything else. Um, quickly I'd like to say before we kind of get into the way of the gameplay and the main commentary is that um, sorry if you can hear any drumming background in the noise or anything along those lines as uh, unfortunately a couple of houses down from my own there is um, a teenager who happens to be a bit drum happy and it just turns out that he likes to play his drums whenever I decide to do a commentary so that's unfortunate but um, as you can see here the first game of the episode is in fact against Swansea the newly relegated team just like um, last episode and uh, and I'll tell you what this was a bloody hard game they were playing like just like they, uh, they normally do in real life and uh, the passing was pretty good and they liked to keep in possession of the ball and uh, for me that was quite frustrating in terms of trying to play and as you can see here just making stupid mistakes bringing centre backs out of position and uh, unfortunately I do pay the penalty and I can see the goal early on in the 11th minute from Graham unfortunately but um, but nevertheless uh, I did persist in trying to, uh, to score myself and um, look, look how close we get here to Moses Finesses it, hits the post, has another shot, comes off the post again, and then the keeper just pushes it wide. So tantalisingly close, I know. Um, I was, on the second shot, I obviously was celebrating before I'd scored the goal, and uh, kind of shot myself in the foot for it for uh, hitting the post again. But um, then they clear the uh, the corner, and uh, I was expecting to uh, to you know um, at least continue the threat for a little bit longer. But as you can see there. Once again, me just pulling players out of position, diving in late, stupid decisions like this, and uh, it must have just been the mood that I was in, and uh, it cost me, as you're about to see. Um, so look at that ball, straight through there, Graham, somehow I don't manage to tackle him, oh no, sorry, that wasn't Graham, this is Graham, and then he manages to wriggle through, I dive in a bit too early with Figueroa, unfortunately, and Graham, to be fair, has a pretty nice finish, opens up his body and finesses it into the... Uh, into the far post. Now um, Najjar has been a pretty good player for us this season in fact he's very cheap and he's still quite young and uh, I'm looking to score some nice goals of him but in never mind Najjar it's Sio that takes the uh, takes the goal just before half time. Now this is so important for me because um, now my mindset is just one more you know we've got the next half to, uh, to defend our own goal and then go and try and score in Nez at the same time and, uh, and that's what we set out to try and do straight from the off as you can see Swansea once again trying to play it about and fortunately um, I was one step ahead with McCarthy and could read the uh, could read where the computer was going to go so uh, I cross it into Jordi Gomez who opens up his body what a finish that is Jordi Gomez and my friend I bow down to you the centre attacking mid Spanish player with his left foot has just finessed that so nicely when that went in I was just thinking this is the perfect moment it could not have gone much better and uh, it really couldn't and uh, so the game finishes off 2-2 as you can see there they got both their goals in the first half and uh, I got both my goals in the space of three minutes so um, quite nice and to be honest not really too much happened in the uh, in the rest of the half which is unfortunate but nevertheless a draw will do a draw is better than a loss and um, on to the next game which I believe is against a newly promoted side as well yes it is Queen's Park Rangers so there you have it we have the trio of the uh, the promoted sides this season and uh, to be fair this is kind of important these first three games um, I would say much more important than playing against someone like uh, Liverpool or Chelsea, Man United, Arsenal those kind of teams because for those teams um, especially with Wigan you kind of expect to lose and uh, you have no real expectations just like you wouldn't in real life which is why it's such a surprise when Wigan win against them in real life um, as they have been in the past couple of weeks but uh, yeah these these first three teams were um, a real test for me and I really want to see how um, how my team fared and how my skills fared against these teams because um, the newly promoted sides um, are kind of who I'm going to be competing against later on in the league um, as it has happened in real life with the teams that are in the bottom five or so are people like Blackburn and Aston Villa, Wigan and then uh, newly promoted teams as well as you know um, stereotypically they don't 
normally do too well in their uh, first season of the Premier League. So um, that's why this game, these three games are so important to me. And a very nice goal there from Syriac indeed brings out the roulette, totally sells the player, and uh, a great finish into the far post. Um, really liking him and this uh, Sio, the two young strikers that we bought for pretty cheaply. Hopefully they're going to develop into something special and uh, into some really good strikers in the future. They both have absolutely blistering pace and uh, hopefully we can take advantage of that. Oh, just so close there, um, just before half time. Would have been nice to go into the break with a 2 0 lead, but unfortunately the header from Syriac once again just goes wide. And, uh, and there's not really too much we can do about that. But look at this. Tramp, tramp, tramp. <laughs> um, Frederick Campbell there picks up the goal to make it 1-1 in the 72nd minute. And I was so annoyed. Just once again, some bad defending. I've really got to kind of um, try and be as consistent as possible when it comes to defending. Um, you know, normally you have a really good game. We're an absolute shocker as um, evidently in these two games of highlights that you've seen this episode so far. But here we are in the 89th minute. Moses, left foot, finesses it. <laughs> what a goal. I don't really know what he did there to shoot. I think he got kind of like tripped or clipped and then he uh, hit it oddly. But it still went in. And at this point, I even uh, stood up and got the fist pump and I was like, yes, come on. And uh, it's pretty much, guys, that's it. Thank you for watching that game. Finished off 2-1. So against the newly relegated sides, we got two wins and one draw, which um, from my standing viewpoint, um, that's not too bad. And I will take that above, um, you know, say two wins and a loss. So, guys, it's been Armour General Kids. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have done and you have made it to the end, please do hit that like button. It does help me out a hell of a lot. See if we can get over 200, uh, 200 likes. That would be amazing. And uh, if you want to comment, maybe mention some players that I should get in the January transfer window. I know it's a bit early, but uh, you know, I'd like to get the ideas in quickly. And uh, if there's just any tips for the series that you want me to do, maybe make them slightly longer, maybe make them shorter. In fact, um, just let me know. And apart from that, guys, it's been Armour General Kane. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a nice day. I'm out.